There's a big fear in corporate mall jewelry stores for education. After I had worked in a mall jewelry store, went and worked for GIA, the Gymological Institute of America, as a staff gemologist. My mom needed me to move back home and help her. I went back to the jewelry store that I worked in. Super easy. The district manager wanted me to start managing all the other stores. I didn't make it that long. There's a big fear in corporate mall jewelry stores for education. The first thing the manager told me is you know too much. You're dangerous to this store. I had a customer come in. She was a nurse. She wanted to wear her ring all the time and, you know, switching gloves all the time. I'm like, okay, we can find you a really great ring, but we have to be mindful. No surface reaching inclusions because you're going to knock your hands around. We want it to be nice, low profile, but we want the band to be wide so it doesn't just easily slide off your finger. Like I had it all planned out. How are we going to keep this ring, this diamond on this lady's finger, washing your hands, banging your hands around. She wants to wear a diamond all the time. So I found a great diamond in their budget, the size she wanted, everything. VS2. And I found one that I looked at the GIA report. I'm like, hey, listen, this checks all the boxes. It's in your budget. It's in your size. You wanted a nicer one. Okay, get it in. I open it up. It is not that. It is not a VS2. It was, I would call it an I2. <laughs> It had a feather from girdle to girdle. The round part or the outside edge of the stone, when you have a feather, a surface reaching inclusion like that, okay, diamonds aren't indestructible. I go to my manager. I'm not selling her this diamond. Well, you can knock a thousand dollars off. No, no. It's not gonna last a long time. It's not what we agreed to. It's not what I told her. It's not what I took the deposit on. It's not what we discussed at all. He looked me in the eye and he said, you are dangerous to the jewelry industry. Oh my gosh.